So you should have uh, completed your assembly by now. Another useful feature in this software is the ability to create working drawings or orthographic views, uh, quite simply. So to do that, in assembly, you simply go to the top where you have the, the menu of all the different parts. At the very top, you have the assembly, the name. You right click on that and you go to create drawing of assembly. Uh, you want to choose the template, which is A-N-S-I-M-M, -M, okay? If you don't see that when this appears, you have to go to show home shape drawing templates. It will show you them all, and then you find it, okay? Remember, you want the millimeter one, all right? So you scroll through until you find it. It should be towards the top, I think. Okay, so the NSI underscore a underscore mm dot dwt template down here you want to choose the four views see what happens it might work for you sometimes it doesn't sometimes you have to do it by controlling and entering the views yourself but hopefully the four views will give you click ok it will give you hopefully what you want so you'll get something like it takes a few seconds to render the image That. Okay, so it gives you the front view, top view, side view, and gives you a isometric view of the object as well. All right. Uh, looks a bit small to me. The scale isn't quite correct. So what I would do? This is the main view. This bottom left-hand corner is the main view. It's the base view. So double-click on this, and here you can change the scale. So we change the scale set of one to four. You see, it automatically changes all the other ones. If you change the scale on this one, it won't change the scale on the rest of them. This is the main view, so this is the one you should start with. Uh, let's try on the three then. Yeah, that's a lot better. That looks a lot better. Okay, so accept that. Um, there's lots of other stuff in here you can change, but we don't really need to know about this. If for some reason that's not the right view you want, if you go back into there, You'll see here you've got the view orientation. You can change it, so we could say go to the bottom and see what that looks like. Take a few seconds. Yeah, no, that's not the right view for the first one, but you can experiment with these views because sometimes your object comes in the wrong way and these aren't correct, right? So you want the main, this should be the main view. So this be the one with the most information which helps you understand the object, which in this case, is the front view. Yeah, that gives me the most information. I can work out the shape of the, the toy from there. From these views, it's a bit more complicated. Yeah, I can't really tell the shape of the object. Obviously, you've got the 3D view, but that just stays in the top right-hand corner like that. Um, so let's accept that. And now you have to have some dimensions. So roll in and use the dimension tools. So I can get dimensions from, say, center here, center here, drag it up. Always drag. The dimension you write to the side like that leave it in the middle but drag it away don't ever leave dimensions over the object drag it away from the object and the idea is you add as many dimensions as you can that actually should be 60 interesting sometimes you don't quite get the center and it's a little bit off all right there should be other options here to get dimension dimension or sorry, radius or diameter dimensions so you can click on some of these and drag them out, these holes. All right. So you add dimensions to each view, not this view, leave this view, uh, add them into there. Okay. And that is, that will get you a pretty decent orthographic view. Interesting thing is when you change the scale, for some reason it doesn't change the scale down here on the actual info. So double click on that and just change it. So it has the right scale there. Hit enter. Just accept it. Just make sure you can even put in titles and so on. Okay. It generates your name. If you've, if you've signed in with your name, it should be there. Okay. So this produces quite professional looking orthographic for schools. All right.